What's cracking, Pan Dudes? Peter Von Panda here. Hey, I've always wanted one of these, never had one. Uh, it looks like a camera lens, but it's not. You've seen them before. You know, they kind of make fun gifts for your photog friends. Uh, this one is available on Amazon. Looks like, com looks like it comes with this little kind of, oh, you know, paper mesh bag to keep it nice and nice and neat. And here is the lens slash mug. I've always thought these were cool. They're, they've always been a little pricey for me to have as a novelty mug. And so I've never done it. But if you are a photographer or something like that, you certainly could use these. And I think this one's pretty cool. I just thought I'd give give you a tour. I finally decided, you know what? Um, you know, I'm, I'm one foot in the grave at this point, And why not just uh, splurge and get some things that might be a little bit of a... Um, kind of a bauble, right? Why not? So the thing is, it really does look like a lens. I mean, at least from my kind of untrained eye, I don't even know what all these would be. You know, image stabilization, autofocus, manual focus, something. You know, if, if I just saw this, I probably would think it's a lens. Looks like the, cu the cap also kind of gives it that lens look. You have this really kind of domed, very round, uh, transparent piece right there and it looks like it's a little tinted so especially when it's filled with coffee it might kind of make it look like it's even darker plastic has a little silicon ring here so it should be nice and waterproof and it's threaded so it uh, this whole thing is, is just plastic this might be I don't know that's plastic too and then you can see the threading is inside here so we have like a stainless steel looks like a kind of a double walled uh, cup um, kind of a matte finish inside there, you know, not super big. I don't know how big this is, you know, 16, 20 ounces maybe, but it's kind of nice and should be easier to drink out of. Um, and then what's also interesting is this anti-spill type of feature that they have down at the bottom. So you have what looks like just a rubber silicone type of foot to it, but I think the thing is when it gets pulled straight up, it kind of releases. It doesn't really work as a suction cup. You kind of break the seal somehow so the air is allowed in there so you can pick it up straight. But when you rock side to side, it it's, keeps that, that opening closed. And so it will kind of create like a suction cup effect, which might be nice, especially with a cup like this where it's so tapered, right? This, this is only maybe like two inches in diameter where you've got maybe three or four inches in diameter up here. So it's gonna be kind of top heavy. And so what this allows you to do is kind of tap it uh, without it falling over. Now we're gonna to have to smooth out the tabletop here to figure out if it works. So let's give it a shot. The table here, it's not a perfectly flat glass-like surface, but it's kind of wood and it goes on there and it kind of sticks actually already. Just when I lift it straight up, you can kind of feel it maybe give a little bit or kind of grip a little bit. You can probably hear it. But when I pull up, and it looks like as I pull up there, uh, as the mug pulls up on the that rubber, kind of releases the seal. But if I hit it this way, okay. So I kind of was able to get it to finally fall because I, I think when you pull it up, you're breaking that seal. But if you just hit it like this, man, that thing works, dude. That thing freaking works. Holy crap. So the cool thing is, you know, not a perfectly smooth surface, but a smooth-ish surface. So on your desk, you don't have to worry about it. Dude, I'm kind of freaking. Yeah, I'm freaking, man. Yeah, actually, this is kind of cool. In fact, you know, this anti-spill type of function on it kind of gives me some confidence that if I were drinking my coffee in the morning next to my computer, I don't have to worry about it accidentally getting a little elbow and falling over. Pretty awesome, actually, right? Come on, tell me you're not impressed. Look, 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 down, boom, 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 boom. All right, so there it is. You've got your camera lens mug. It really does look like a camera lens. Picks up like magic, but you can't knock it over easily, right? So 
if that's something useful to you, I would definitely check it out. I'll put a link to it in the description, but I'm pretty impressed with it. So I mean, just... the thing works and it looks pretty awesome. I think if you are a photog, photographer, um, or just into kind of things that people will want to ask you about, this is probably for you. And so in that regard, let's give it away to one of you pan dudes out there. I'm going to give this a sucker away on July 1st, 2017. All you have to do to enter this bad boy uh, is like this video, subscribe to my channel. You're going to have to live in the U.S. or Canada. Uh, in order to receive it because that's the only place I can afford to ship it to. Um, but like, subscribe, and then comment below. The comment is going to be what gets you entered into this giveaway. Uh, and uh, I'm going to need you to put the country that you live in somewhere in the comments so that I can verify when we pick a winning comment that you live in a place where I can afford to ship to, which is U.S. Canada, right? So you might get this camera lens mug and be able to impress your friends and maybe keep your desk and workspace safe by not knocking it over and uh, destroying your laptop or your computer. Peter Rompanda, out.